Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. Good afternoon, good evening for you guys too. Listen, we're gonna start the day out with trying to get Lucy to eat a large meal. You know she's a little bit tricky, so let's go ahead, just uh, grab what I thought out for her and see if she'll eat. I mean, I can't think of a better way to start my day. Now, interestingly enough, Lucy, the 20 foot snake, is a little bit finicky to be honest with you. Uh, number one, it seems like when I feed her anything other than white rabbit, she's not interested. When I feed her something too large, she's not interested. She doesn't like pig. I mean, you wouldn't think a 20 foot snake would be finicky, but she is. So I have a white rabbit, but it is a pretty big rabbit. So I'm not sure if she's gonna eat or not, but let's go ahead and give it a shot. Wanna try to eat? Wanna try to eat, girl? Come on. Come on. Come on, you wanna eat? Wanna eat, girl? Wanna eat, wanna eat? Looks like she's interested. Maybe she's not. Wanna try to eat, girl? There she goes, she took it, she took it. Oh, yeah, she's got it. Oh. Ooh, doggy. I tell you what, I wasn't sure if she was gonna eat it, because again, sometimes when she's tucked away in the back, she doesn't really take food. But again, it's so weird. Can you imagine that a snake literally wants white rabbits, not too large, although this is a huge rabbit. I mean, the biggest rabbit she's ever eaten for sure. But I mean, she just, if this was a brown rabbit, she would have just turned her nose to it. She doesn't like anything else. She is such a weird snake. Just goes to show you, individuals are different, right? Some snakes will eat anything you give them to them. Other snakes like her are so picky, so finicky, that it's that way. Whoo, doggy, I am so glad she ate. And this is gonna put a big meal in her because that is about a 12 pound rabbit. That is a big meal. She typically eats two, maybe three, four pound rabbits. So again, sometimes on a big meal, she might get 12 pounds, but this is a large meal. It's gonna take her some time. That is a great way to start our day. How freaking exciting is that? Lucy is incredible. It looks like I'm gonna have to clean her water too. Did some pee and some poo in there. So uh, yeah, after she's done eating, we'll clean her up, but wow. I'm excited, that gets my blood flowing. And I just know that today is gonna to be an amazing day. What do you say we enjoyed watching her eat, push our problem aside, and have an amazing day together? I tell you what, that was a big meal. I mean, still, it's so incredible to see an animal like this eat something so large. That was definitely the largest rabbit she's ever eaten. Again, she likes smaller meals, so I was so happy she took it, and even more happy that she ate it. You know, just to get her some size. Again, she went about two and a half months without food. Now she's back on food. That means she's gonna beef up, which I'm so happy about. She is amazing. Uh, definitely have to get her out in a little bit here. I'm gonna let her rest for probably the rest of the day because you don't want to move a snake right after they eat. But uh, she's got some pee in the water. I wanted to clean that. I was hoping she wasn't gonna crawl back into the water. I was hoping she was gonna crawl somewhere else where I could clean it, but uh, there's not much I can do right now. So later on, hopefully tonight, I can get her kind of out or maybe she'll crawl around and uh, and I can clean this up because it, it definitely needs some cleaning. There's no doubt about that, but nevertheless, awesome that Lucy ate. It's all about the daily grind, about to switch my male ball pythons. That's the way you have a successful breeding season. Do it every single day. You guys know that I'm really into the podcast thing. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, by the way, the link will be in the description. Check it out. Definitely want to hit that up. But uh, you know, the other day I actually did a solo podcast just talking about reptiles and business and stuff like that. I'm going to put a card right up here. You guys can check that out. I just wanted to know from you guys, you know, the podcast is, you know, there's the family podcast. Noah has a podcast. Uh, and then I was doing a podcast where I was bringing guests in. Some would be animal people. Some would be other, you know, non-animal people and something like that. Uh, and then I decided to do 
do the solo one, that would just be me talking. And I want you guys to check that one out up here and uh, let me know what you think. You know, is that something you want me to do more of? You know, I can talk again about reptiles, my business, you know, anxiety, mental health, all this other stuff. Uh, some kind of you know forum that we can interact back and forth with so uh, let me know what you guys think is that something I should add to the podcasting uh, I love podcasting and it would be cool if you guys want to but again I want to do the best I can do to grow that kind of platform you know because I'm so passionate about podcasting so let me know uh, again if you checked it out if you liked it if you think I could do better how we can make it better and if you want me to do more of that okay let me know you guys may have noticed that I am in the Christmas spirit. Well, guess what? It's Christmas time. It's time to buy presents, right? And my friends over at Raycon are going to help you out. That's right. I love these things. I use these everyday E25s every single day. I have been in a Christmas spirit, so I've been listening to Christmas music while I'm at the gym, while I'm working, while I'm just at home chilling out. These things are absolutely amazing. They're comfortable. They're great. And they are an amazing gift. I'm giving these guys to everyone I know. And trust me, you should too. They are amazing quality ear earbuds at about half the price of the expensive quality brands and now you can actually even save 15 more percent that's right 15 more percent you can go to buyraycon.com slash brian b and get you some now the thing that's great about them is that they last about six hours in a charge and the cool little carrying case that they come in you can actually charge these up to six times so that is a lot of hours of charge that you can listen to christmas caroling if you know what i mean and they now come in a bunch of different colors so i'm telling you what right now if you have have someone to buy for this is the gift you want click the link in the description to go to buyraycon.com slash brian b to get 15 percent off your order i mean hey I'm, I'm just handing you guys an easy one right now you guys won't be disappointed trust me they are amazing well it's time to do a little bit of training yes we're still doing tons of training here today i have some chicken that is dusted with calcium and vinate for my guy toothless here come on toothless you ready to come out toothless is right up at the front of the cage come on buddy let's go come on let's go Come on, come on, whoop. There you go, buddy. He's such a good animal and his training is coming along really well. I mean, obviously we use the blue ball just like we do with everything except the red ball for Matilda and the red ball for the crocodile monitor. But uh, let's see what we can get him to do. Come on, bud, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. All the way up, 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 all the way up. There you go, whoop, whoop. Here, you can just take a piece of chicken there. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Now he's coming down. See you later, buddy. You taking your food and you're running away from me? What a cutie. I tell you what, Toothless is amazing. And again, as he's getting bigger, he's just getting more and more incredible. We'll just get him over here again. Come on, bud. Come on. Come on over. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go, sweetheart. He is so freaking cool. I mean, this is definitely a little dinosaur. There's no doubt about that. And again, as he's getting kind of more food aggressive, we can do more training with him. I think we might be able to do more with Toothless than we did with Elvis, to be totally honest with you, because we got him when he was a baby and we've had him his whole life, whereas Elvis was a little bit bigger. Oh, he is definitely fired up. He's like, come on. There you go, bud. And the thing again, it's so cool. You can be petting him, doing everything. He's not gonna bite your hand. He doesn't do any of this type of stuff. And we just, you know, again, just continue to kind of target him on the ball and offer him food. Nope, stay here, stay here. Up here, up here. Whoop, hey, get that ball. Lay that ball alone. There you go. Okay, all right. <laughs> I mean, I get such a trick. I get so much enjoyment out of this. Come on, bud, come on. Last piece, last piece. There you go. There you go, sweetheart. I mean, how freaking awesome is that? I mean, there isn't many lizards, even Elvis, when you first get done feeding, if you don't hide that ball and make him realize that food isn't coming, he might bite your hand. I've been bitten by him a couple times. We're here toothless is obviously, you can be feeding him and petting him at the exact same time. This is truly an urban dinosaur. Guess what, guys? There is literally only a day or two left for the Ho Ho Drogo merch. That's right, ugly sweaters and uh, the t-shirts, hoodies, coffee cups. Now, when I say a couple more days left, that means if you want them before Christmas, if you order them a couple days later, uh, you'd still get them, just wouldn't get them for Christmas. But hey, listen, I know me, I'm going to be wearing this shirt on Christmas Day, because why not, right? So again, one, two days tops left, get your merch now. You don't want to miss out on this stuff, right? Link in the description, you better go do it right now. This snake is so gorgeous, and it's such a great display animal here at the Reptarium. I always think about sometimes having animals on display here, not only for people to look at, but for 
people to literally be able to hold that there's probably nowhere else they're gonna get an opportunity. I mean, these 100 flower rat snakes, or what they call Molendorfi, are definitely a rare Chinese rat snake. I mean, they're not super uncommon, but, but the ones that come in from China typically don't live very well. So captive born ones are really unusual. This happens to be a captive animal that's about three and a half, four years old right now, and just puppy dog tame. Just a beautiful, beautiful snake. I mean, look at that kind of red, orange head, turns into the green body, and then the tail turns orange again. It's just such an unusual snake. And again, I just think that that's a great thing here at the Reptarium to be able to continue to bring on species of snakes and lizards and all kinds of different stuff that people can't see normally and certainly can't interact with. This animal's an absolute river. You guys know that I've been working with RJ for, you know, 10 years or so, but we also, when we do the next expansion of the zoo, which hopefully will happen if everything goes well, uh, we want RJ to be able to get fed by other people. So Gatorland has a great training thing where they come up and they open their mouth and then you just throw the food in. RJ right now jumps at it because that's what we've always done. So I'm going to start the training to try to get him to station and just open his mouth so that when people can feed him, we'll be able to do that. So let's see what we can do. RJ, RJ, up, up, station, up, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Here, RJ, uh, RJ, RJ, stay, open, 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 open. Good job. So that was a pretty good start. So that's the first time I've ever done that with him, to be totally honest with you. So he doesn't really know what he's doing. So now we just have to get him to where he opens his mouth a little bit more. Again, it's gonna probably take a little bit of time. He's not gonna do it this first time. But hey, every bit helps, you know. So let's try one more time. RJ, up, up, open, 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 open. Come on, RJ, come, up. Come on, up, 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 up. There you go. Oh, lost it. You're doing good, RJ. Come on, up, up, open. There it goes. There it is, RJ. That's what I want from him. Now, he's going to learn this really quick. And the more I do this every single time, and look at that. Oh my God, I love it. Do you hear the cracking? Oh, oh. That is amazing. But again, every time I can get him to station, open his mouth, now when people come and we actually allow them to feed, just like they do at Gatorland, he'll come station. It's gonna take a while of reinforcing it, but this is a great training thing. So let's try again. RJ, come. Come on, come on, Arch. Arch, come. RJ, come. RJ, come. Come on, come on. RJ, up, up, up. Come on, RJ, up. RJ up, RJ up, 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 open your mouth, RJ up, open your mouth, open your mouth, there it is, there it is RJ, wow. See how quick they catch it, you know, it's amazing, just within a couple things, if I keep doing this for the next three weeks, four weeks, he is going to be bulletproof and oh my gosh, listen to that, oh, oh, that is awesome, I love it, so again, this is, uh, couldn't have went better, to be totally honest with you. In no time, he's gonna be getting this down. He'll come right over, open his mouth. People just throw the food in there. It's gonna be a really cool experience that people can do when we do this next expansion. Fingers crossed. Always excited uh, when I get cool stuff. It's like Christmas time, right? So I have uh, our friends over at Loom Cube. You may notice behind us that we like camera stuff. We like gear. We like to do kind of cool stuff. Just kind of adds to whatever creativity we're gonna do. So Loom Cube actually reached out to us and said they were gonna send us a few things. There's a whole bunch of stuff that they're uh, gonna send us in the future too so uh, basically what this is let me see this is a little stand that you can actually hook to the top of your hot shoe or whatever on your camera and that actually do this is the this is the one that I was excited about right here this is just called a panel go Ugh. and what this basically is is just a little tiny light right here oh, God, I don't know how it even works I have no idea how to even turn this thing on but uh, let's see here and uh, bam, lit up, you know? Right in the back there has settings that you can actually change things. So again, if you're just trying to light something up, you wanna get close to it, you know, sometimes when we're doing snakes, you need like better lighting, you know, or harsh lighting with the, the uh, fluorescent lights and stuff like that. This is gonna help out a lot. And Loom Cube obviously has a ton of cool stuff like this. By the way, this is not a brand deal. I'm not getting paid for this or anything like that. Uh, I think it's cool they sent us a little uh, stand that you can actually put the Loom Cube on. So let's say I wanted to do uh, something to camera and I wanted to light my face a little bit, I put the stand here, Loom Cube lights my 
face that looks really cool. So, and then lastly, they sent us this little thing. Uh, and like I said, I know that they had mentioned that they were gonna send us some more stuff here soon. So I'm excited about that. And this is pretty cool. This is, again, this goes on your hot shoe for the top of your camera if you wanna mount two things. Let's say you wanna mount a light here and you wanna mount your, your microphone on this side. It's just a little cool little piece. So uh, cool, I love it. So uh, again, not a brand deal, but I do appreciate you guys over at LoomCube. I think it's pretty cool. If you guys are interested getting started with video or something like that, link in the description to their stuff. All right, what a day. I mean, it does some training, some alligator feeding, uh, Lucy eating a big meal. That was absolutely incredible. I hope that this kind of, you know, whatever time of the day it is for you guys, gets you guys into a good mood. If you do like this video and you enjoy feeding videos, here's a playlist on this side of me feeding a bunch of different reptiles. Up here, please subscribe to my podcast. You guys know I'm really passionate about that. On this side, I hope that you are subscribed to this vlog channel. If you're not, hit the subscription button. Also turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to somebody and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.